Need glasses to see across the room? Myopia is increasing among children. For myopic children, distant objects appear blurred. 40 years ago, only 25% children were myopic, but today about 42% are myopic. The problem seems to be worse in developed Asian countries, where 90% of young adults are nearsighted. Why myopia is increasing among the children? Scientists believe that spending more time indoors and focusing on close objects like books and computer screens contribute to the problem. That's why nerds wear glasses, it's really true. People with severe nearsightedness, face many serious eye diseases later in life. The problems include detached retinas, premature cataracts and glaucoma. All these conditions can lead to blindness. Until recently, doctors could correct myopia only with glasses or contact lenses. Now scientists from Singapore have discovered, they can protect the eyesight of severely myopic children. They have done this by using an ancient drug in a new way. The drug is atropine. It is a poisonous compound found in many deadly poisonous plants in the nightshade family, such as mandrake and belladonna. Thousands of years back the ancient Greek and Egyptian healers have used these poisons as medicines. Now drug companies make atropine in the lab. Atropine has several uses as a medicine. But it has uncomfortable side effects like blurry vision and sensitivity to light. For that reason, it has only been used to treat severe eye problems, such as lazy eye. Till now it has not been used for myopia. In a five-year study, researchers from Singapore used a trip in eye drops in 400 children, of the age group 6 to 12 years. All the selected children were severely myopic, and they need glasses to see across a room. The lowest concentration of atropine, just 0.01% was used, which gave the best result. Children who instilled atropine eye drops, were the least nearsighted after 5 years. Atropine slowed the worsening of their myopia by around 50%. With this low treatment dose, there were very few side effects, showing that it is not only effective, but also safe. Professor Donald Dan, an ophthalmologist, and medical director of the Singapore National Eye Centre, led the study. Tan presented his team's findings on November 16 at the annual meeting of the American Academy of Ophthalmology in Las Vegas, Nevada. The results were published in the Journal of Ophthalmology, December 2015 issue. The drug was tested only in Asian children. More studies are needed to confirm that it would work as well in other populations. The main achievement was the discovery, that atropine works at a very much lower doses than had ever been used before. Thanks for watching. Please click the link in description for more information.